No, thank you. I don't even want to look at this carrot. Being an adult is hard. You gotta take care of yourself. A lot of things I like to think I learned on my own, but let's recognize the other members of the pack that really help us to be better humans. The dog. These are tips that I've learned from my dog. Hydrate. Water is life, people. As a kid, I definitely didn't drink enough water. I'd rather maybe drink juice or soda or something else, but water is honestly what's keeping this from being like this. If you wanna take care of your skin, do it from the inside out and drink a ton of water. Being hydrated has so many beneficial effects and my dog is the number one champion for this. She never forgets to drink her water. She drinks a ton of water every single day and she complains to me when her bowl is empty. Hi, what do you need? What do you need? What's wrong? What do you want? That's dedication, people. Take lots of naps. Next to water, sleep is another one of the most important things you can do for yourself, for your health, in your life. I'm basically cranky when I don't have a lot of sleep, and I don't really sleep very often because I have a lot of stuff to do. But it's important to take time and make sure that you get as much sleep as you can because you can't make that kind of time up. That's something that I really try to do more of these days. And if you want to take care of your skin, sleep is also an amazing way to do that. Create a schedule that works for you and stick to it. 10 years ago, me was super spontaneous. Did anything whenever she wanted. Hopped on a plane to England when I felt like it, did whatever, basically never had a regular schedule. And it was fun while it lasted, but it's really tiring. And it's kind of nice to know that at this time, this is what I'm gonna be doing. Phoenix has a basic schedule, but she always sticks to it. And she might not know how to read a clock, but her internal clock works perfectly. It's good to have the same morning routine, maybe an evening routine, to kind of help you wind down or get your day started. It's nice to kind of expect the same thing every single time and every single day. It gives you a sense of comfort so even when you're anywhere else in the world or doing some other crazy stuff or if you had an insane day, you can always look forward to your little routine that you have at the end of the day. Eat the treat. You deserve it. We spend so much time feeling guilty about treating ourselves to food that may not necessarily be that good for our bodies, but they're good for our souls. I'm not saying go insane, but if ice cream really makes you happy, then have the ice cream. I don't know a dog that would pass up any sort of treats. Phoenix would never pass up treats. When they're there and available for her, she's gonna eat them because she's a good dog and she deserves them. And that's how we should feel about ourselves when we treat ourselves to something. I am awesome and I deserve this treat and I'm gonna enjoy it and not feel guilty about it. Don't be afraid to express when you don't like something. A lot of times, I think when I was younger and everybody was into something and I really wasn't that into it, I'd be afraid to say like, I don't really like this. If every single kid in the class was like wearing the latest trend and I wasn't into it, I'd still wear the latest trend because I didn't want to be different from anybody else. But now that I'm an adult, I don't care. You don't have to like something, and don't have to do something if you're really not that into it. And Phoenix tells me all the time, No, thank you. I don't even want to look at this carrot. I like to drink my coffee black with nothing in it. I get people asking me all the time like, ew, how do you do that? And I just don't like anything in it. And I am free to do that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, these are the things that I've learned from my dog. Let me know in the comment section below if any of these resonate with you and what other lessons you've learned from your dog that help you be a better adult. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new things every Wednesday. You can tap in that little circle with my face in it to subscribe. If you want to see my last video, you can go here. And if you want to see my vlog channel, you can go down there. And now that we're at the end of this video, it's time for This is a Pillow. It's been real. See you guys next week. Bye.